I'm gonna be responsible and be like, no, I don't need to even look at these. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. If you're new to the channel, or if you haven't seen this series before, what I do is once a week go through all of the new beauty releases as seen on Trend Mood's Instagram page, and I decide if I'm going to be adding them to my wishlist, or if I think they are a total washout. Before we jump into this week's products, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like the series, and if you want to see any more, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. And don't forget to check out the whole playlist of all of my weekly wish list or washouts I'll throw up in the cards right here if you want to binge watch all of them I've been doing them once a week since like January or February of this year so now there's quite a few up in that playlist okay so first we're gonna talk about the Norvina palette I know if I deep dive and analyze that there's nothing really spectacularly different about this palette but I want it I like that for the first time ABH did a row of shimmers and a row of mattes. It looks gorgeous. It does, it does. And I do like the tones. I like that it's cool toned. I like that there's a, there's more of a variety here. I am definitely going to be picking this up the day it comes out, probably through Sephora since I get free shipping through them anyway, but I'm definitely getting this palette. Let me know down below if you guys want to see a whole video on this palette. I'm definitely going to be doing like a normal like couple of looks and a review. But if you want to see like more in-depth looks or tutorials or just let me know down below what you want to see. Because I'm really excited for this palette. It Cosmetics is coming out with a new oil-free matte CC cream. If I'm being honest, I tried out their regular CC cream. It did not work well for me. Not a huge fan. Also, the shade range kind of looks like garbage which most of their shade ranges are, but yeah. I wouldn't really recommend this product and I'm not really going to look into any more It Cosmetics products in the future. Just because I, A, I think they're terribly overpriced. B, I think their demographic is definitely towards older women, which I think there's definitely a demographic there. They shouldn't be ignored, but just because that's what you're saying your target demographic is doesn't mean you don't have to work on things within your brand like your shade range and you know your products and your just range of actual products too yeah anyway i could go into a lot there but just personally it cosmetics is not for me okay so something that almost got me this bobby brown palette the camouflage the camo love palette I was almost tricked because I looked at it real quick and I was like, whoa, is that a gold and are all those greens and is it actually camo? But no, if you actually look at the palette, none of the shades are green. It's actually just a beige, a light brown, a brown, and then a silver, a black with shimmer, and then a dark brown. There's not even a green in this palette. <laughs> oh my god. But when I first saw these pictures, because, you know, every picture is of the palette, like, half closed, you know? And I was like, oh, is that a green? Is that this? Is that that? No. It's not. Oh, Bobby Brown. Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown. So that's gonna be a pass. But I was excited when I first saw that. So Milani is coming out with two more of their 12 pan palettes. I still haven't tried out their original. I think there was two of them originally. They've gotten rave reviews from almost every video and influencer that I've seen. So they're probably amazing quality. One is very neutral and then one is more mauve-y, um, like warm toned. If anything, I want to go out and try one of these palettes just to try like the formula for myself. I was hoping to find them in store. I can't find them in store anywhere. <laughs> Literally anywhere. I don't know if they're av are they available in store. Are they? I don't know. But I really wanted to see them in store, like swatch them, but I think I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and order them online. So if anything, I'll order one of these online just so I could actually try the formula out, let you guys know. But so far they've gotten amazing reviews. Something I didn't know. So Wet n Wild is coming out with a new collection, like the Fire Dragon, Ice Dragon, yeah, I don't know. But they have 
color icon bronzers i don't know if they just repackage their bigger bronzers but they have bronzers in the same packaging as the highlighters i don't know if this is a new formula i don't know if this is just an old one repackaged but i have not tried those out and i really want to because i'm sure they are incredibly affordable and if they're anything like the formula for the highlighters they're gonna be amazing come on so I, that really intrigued me out of this entire collection. The collection was just kind of like, eh, whatever. But when I saw the bronzers in that packaging, I was just like, what is that? <laughs> Kylie's new palette is coming out, but it looks boring as hell, so we're going to skip it. This palette, oh. So actually, the Kylie palette looks a hell of a lot like that new Lorac palette that just came out. Smashbox is coming out with three more of like their little mini palettes. None of these look particularly interesting. And they're mostly shimmers. One looks like mostly matte and then the other two look like mostly shimmers. With the fact that I know I really don't reach for small palettes and that these don't look terribly interesting, uh, it's, it's gonna be a pass. Colourpop is finally coming out with a primer and a setting spray. But you know what, after the foundation, I'm hesitant. I am hesitant. I really do want to try out the setting spray because if they could come out with a nice affordable setting spray that could change the market. The primer I think I'm going to skip out on just because I have a good amount of primer and primer is something that if you're not careful you can either ruin your whole makeup look or it could break you out. So I think I'm going to hold off on the primer until I see some reviews but the setting spray I'd be willing to try. I'd be willing to try that spray. So Natasha Denona is coming out with some highlighters. They look gorgeous. I actually have like a mini highlighter and because I have this mini highlighter, I don't think I need any of these. I love these little minis because you get to try things out and they're not terribly, I mean, it was still expensive, but not like incredibly expensive. This is the Natasha Denona Mini Blush and Glow. You've got a little blush and a little, can I just not blind you guys? Got a little blush and a little highlighter. Since I have this highlighter here and it didn't, it's a nice highlighter, but it didn't blow my mind, you know? So because I have this one, I don't feel the need to jump on any of these, especially like it being a full size. I'm not going to get through this mini anytime soon, so I'm going to be responsible and be like, no, I don't need to even look at these. Urban Decay is coming out with a new lip mousse. It comes in like a little compact. I've never been a fan of lip products that aren't in a tube or in a bullet because I will never reach for them. Ever. I have so many lip products as it is that I don't reach for. I will never touch a lip product in a palette or in a compact or whatever. So I will not be picking these up. Hourglass is coming out with a. Oh, I just lost my voice. <coughs> Hourglass is coming out with a new mascara. This is the Extreme Lash Volume. Nope. This is the Caution Extreme Lash. Not even. Yeah. This is the Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. Honestly, I'm of the opinion that not a whole lot of higher-end mascaras are worth it. There's two that I've found that are amazing. The rest have kind of been just like bleh. And you can find amazing mascaras at the drugstore and at Ulta. I'll stick to my two higher-end ones that I actually like, which are the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir and the Chantecaille, if you guys are interested. But honestly, every other higher-end mascara has been a letdown and a waste of money so I'm not gonna jump out and try this one and also it seems like a boring release from Hourglass there's so many different ways that Hourglass can go and they go mascara yeah but I mean that's just me Okay, so that's everything for this week's weekly wish list or washout. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know down below what you thought of these products and if you want to pick any of these up as well. Don't forget to subscribe while you're down there and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye!